Greetings folks, Pockets here, back with another Pockets Quick Tips for EVE Online. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look, quick and dirty look at the map and how you can use it to find information, find what you need to look for. So let's just bring up the map and we'll get right on started with it. So here we are, we see, two, we see a few things, a lot of information here right at the first glance without touching anything. Uh, these solid lines. This is our constellation. So we are actually currently, if you see this here, we are here, sitting at Junsort, just outside our Astrohus. I hope, I think we're tethered, which doesn't matter, but yes, we are. There's the tether there. Uh, so this is our constellation. These are all kind of the stars that make up the constellation we operate in. And you can see the name of it here. So we're in Osnin's constellation. In the Every Shore region, which we zoom out is Every Shore is sort of this rough area. And we're in this solar system. This moving ant trails dotted line is my current route. So if you look over here, minimize this, I have like this route path all set up to do what I want to do. Uh, this is my standard minus, I haven't moved this yet, but this is my standard exploration path. And you can just see from here, I'm just going to follow the path along. Looks like I go like this and up into here, and back here, and so on. Uh, hitting a few dead end systems as we go. So that's what that is. I'm going to actually clear the path just so it's not so distracting. There we go, see, gone. And now we can look. So there's our constellation. Uh, these dotted lines means you're jumping from one constellation to another. Or there's also a, a region. I think this is the region one. Is that going to essence? Yeah. So the short dots appear to be the same region but new constellations. So we show information. We got every shore, which is the same, but it's a different constellation. And the longer dashes are changing regions. A couple other things we can note from this. So we can see here that we are connected to one other region. We're connected to three other constellations. Uh, our constellation has no low sex systems. And there you go. It's pretty, pretty interesting. What else can we do with this? Uh, right now we have it set up to look at the security status. You can see this is a yellow dot because it's a 0.5. The line changes from yellow to a little more green as we go to Amitins because it's higher up and even further to Ace and so on. And you can see here it goes from green to blue as we jump into this, into Mies, because it's a plus nine or a point nine. So you can have your security status. If we zoom out, you can also see like there's some low sec over here and there's null sec all around the outside, all the red. And so that gives you an idea of kind of where things stand. And that's pretty cool. You can use this when you're trying to decide where to go. Um, what I do with this is I look for dead end systems. So here's an example one of the ones I would go to. You can see it's a dead end because it doesn't connect anything when you click on it. It's all by itself out of this constellation. Uh, if you right click on a star, you can set destination, add waypoints, save it, avoid it, uh, show in the map browser. But let's go ahead and set destination. You'll see boom, and it sets us up our path. And we're hitting that little zoom into our constellation. This here is our constellation jump off point that we were looking at earlier. So we're going from there to there and then on through. Pretty cool. So that gives us an idea that let's clear all the waypoints we can see here. So what this constellation looks like, lots of action going on here. We have a couple of low sex systems. You can see the lines go from Billy here, go from yellow to orange and orange back to yellow and then yellow to orange. So that's cool. We see no regional jumps but lots of constellations. So it jumps to four or five different constellations, but none of these are regional changes. So again, oh, there's Colster. That's another one of my dead end systems. So there's two of them in this one. That's cool. And yeah, so that's telling us that. That's how we can look at that. And it's really great. I like it a lot to just play at the map. Sometimes I'll sit in here and just look for interesting bits, like interesting constellations. Remember those. So this is Dirtix right here. Yeah, thought I recognized the constellation. See? And you can see here, here's a regional change. There's another regional change. There's another two regional changes there. So Dirtixie's in a really good spot. Lots of different regions connect to it. So I can imagine these other, these here are going to be pretty busy systems because people can jump one in to get to either Dirtixie or get into the constellation with it uh, or into its region. But yeah, so that's cool. What else can we do? Let's go back to our, our starting point. There's our beautiful constellation. I'm going to spin around because that's how I know to see it. And let's see what else we can do. So these are ones that I used recently to look for stuff. If 
but we're gonna ignore these for now. We're gonna go through some of these. I found some cool stuff in here. So for corporation, this one's interesting. We can click on, my favorite one is this one here. Click on my corp mates. Now if I look, I'm not gonna show you guys this, but it doesn't appear to be anybody on. So within the last little bit, so here's me. Kalthorin is in this system. You can see the little red circle. And Hannibal was in this system when this last updated, when however long that is. But I can kind of zoom out, and right now it's quiet, nobody's on. But to see where people are doing things, it's really good as a CEO, so I can see if people are grouping up in areas and see what's happening. Uh, lots of little just interesting bits. I don't know how you'd use it day to day, but it's fun to look at. What else? Uh, offices and impounds, that's all pretty straightforward, so you can see if I click on this. We have an office here. But if we zoom out, Oh, you know what? I'm not in the corp with all the offices. That's why we only have the one. This guy, there's only one office for the corp. All right, that's fine. Uh, impounded property. Now that's going to matter for me right now. Factional warfare has some interesting stuff if you're in faction warfare. So you used to use this a lot. If we click on that. You can see up here. This is like the, where the Glente Federation contest rates are. And the bigger the circle, the more contested it is, I believe. Remember correctly? So like this one, it doesn't tell you it's in it right away, but you can see that there's bigger circles, so it's more fighting going on. And so that's kind of the war zone there. Galente side, you can check the Caldari side, which will also be in this area. There we go, red. And so on. So pretty cool there. What else we got? Uh, last ships destroyed. This is going to be militia ships, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll go into the actual one for that, though. Uh, the most of the time I spend here, geography and statistics. Oops. So a couple things you can sort by here. First is actual color. Let's get back to our home set. And this is this is interesting for people that want to go sightseeing because it colors each point based on the actual color of the star. So if we look like lots of yellow and sort of pinkish stars in our constellation. If we go over here, we got like a blue star right here. So we have a purple star right here. As you can see the end of the line is kind of purple. So if you want to go see different colored stars, you can do that. Security status, which we saw at the beginning. Uh, region is kind of cool. It kind of breaks down by what's in the region. So all of every shore is this kind of orange color. And then as you can see, let's check our regional jump here. Where is it? Oh yeah, no regional. For, right there. It goes to maze, which is kind of this red color. So we zoom out. And as we zoom way, way out, you can see kind of each region colored out. A nice little view of New Eden here. What else can we do? Let's focus on our point. We got pilots in space last 30 minutes. So this is especially useful if you're looking for quiet systems to do stuff in. So what I'll often do is when I have my route set up, or when I'm looking for a route, I will zoom out and look for points that have nothing, like look, eight jumps in the last hour. There's seven in, there's one pilot with seven jumps in this system. So these are nice quiet systems right now where nothing's happening. You might be able to go find some exploration stuff in there. Uh, you also, the thing is you can't see what security they are until you've actually hovered over them pretty much. But that's okay. So it's kind of a competition between this and the security uh, level ones. Give you an idea of where to go. So I use that a lot. Uh, this one is uh, similar. But I like to use the every half hour because it seems to be more accurate. Jumps in the last hour if you're looking for travel routes or where you might want to go camp people traveling. Uh, ships destroyed was, is really important when you're in like low second null sec. So if we zoom in, there's not a whole lot of activity in this system. Uh, five ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. One ship. So there's a little bit of heat, like these orange ones are a little bit heat. But if we scroll out, you'll start seeing little circles. So there's one, one ship, eight. Uh, here, what's this? This is a hot spot. 480 ship just ships destroyed in the last 24 hours in this low sec system. So there's some fighting or something going on over there. You zoom even further out, we'll get into like... So that's the hottest spot on the map, so if you want to look for where all the fights are happening in the last day, right there. We got a little bit of stuff down here in fountains, really clustered up here. It looks like Burn Jita we should see a bit over in the... Actually, 24 hours isn't long enough because it's kind of been over for more than 24 hours. But if we had looked two days ago, we probably would have seen up here. Still a little warm. So you can see that orange spot was Jita. This is probably bright red, about a day or two ago. So that's a cool one. Uh, pods destroyed in the last 24 hours. Pirates and police ships. This is a good one to use for PV ears. So we can see here if we scroll in, let's go back to our system. 
So we've had 2,800 in the last 24 hours in Juns. This is all ratting and missions. Okay, so high sec looks pretty busy. It's kind of orange. If we scroll on out, though, start seeing the null sec areas. So pretty warm up here. But if you look down in Delve, yeah, there you go. That looks like it might be a very popular goon ratting site. 38,000 ships destroyed in the last 20, 24 hours. So this is a way to find ratters if you want to hunt them or if you want to find out where good ratting spots are or where somewhere you might want to go to try to rat without uh, having too many more people in there. So like in our system, not a lot. There's a lot of ratting actually going on in our, in our area, but so you, that's another sort of thing you can use. I don't use this one quite as much. It's fun just to look at every once in a while to see where people are PVEing. A little bit down here in the tail in the fountain. A bit up here in... So that's cool. What else do I usually use? Station count. Don't usually use that too often. Another one I like to do is, and I highly recommend you guys going to poke through here and see. So you can see where all your here. We'll do this. Where are all my assets by value? So I've got a lot here in Fleet. That makes sense because I used to live there and I've left most of my stuff there for faction warfare. I have some stuff way over here from back when we went over with that up and helped the Mimitars. So I probably have a couple ships over there. Uh, Twenty nine items. Uh, starting to build up a little bit here. Yeah, there's stuff spread everywhere. This was when I was doing the Sisters of Eve mess. It might actually just be skins there. So you can kind of see where all your stuff is. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, this is all in our low sec in the faction warfare areas. Stuff that was spread out. Some stuff in Cloud Ring. <laughs> Pretty cool. Do I have anything left in Providence? I don't think I do. Where, where would... Hang on. Gotta find it. Providence. Yeah, nothing left. So, gives you an idea where all your stuff is. I like that one. Uh, systems I visited. This is cool if you want to explore. Not only what you've explored, where you've been, but how often you've been there. So you can see little trails here. This would be from my exploration days, probably. Uh, maybe during when I was with Brave Newbies, because they were living in Catch back when I was in with them. Uh, Providence, when I lived in Providence. I hit all these systems a little bit. Obviously did a lot more here. It even tells you when you last visit it. So this is cool if you want to put a dot on every spot on the map. You can see I spent a lot of time in this area. <laughs> Super red. So that's a cool one to look at just to see. What else can we do here? My cargo legality. I probably don't have much for this since I don't cargo. Don't move much stuff. Uh, my planet scan range. This is where I can do like for PI, for scanning planets for PI. Can't quite reach up to here, which makes sense. Uh, fleet members that don't have available agents, you can click on that, kind of see where all your agents available are and see what they're for. That's kind of cool. Oops, not that. Colonies, I don't think, yeah, I have a few. I just left them there, they're kind of just doing their thing, I don't actually visit them. Avoidance systems, you want to see it. Planets, services is the one I use more. I like this personal one, especially the systems I'm visited and assets. I like to go in there once in a while. Services is cool. If you are looking for something specific, like let's say I want security agents. If I click like this, it shows me all the security offices. Concord Treasury, so all the Concord stuff, where they are. If I want, let's just say, bidding is less important. Clone Bay, Clone Bay is good. Oh, there's a clone, there's two Clone Bays in Momon, Mormon, that I can access. This is what I can access. There's two here, there's two here, uh, there's a bunch here. As we zoom out, we can see where all the clone bays in the universe are that I can access. Some in Fountain, looks like maybe some in Delve. Not much up here in Venal. So, cool. So yeah, and that's typical. That's basically what I use it for, and you can use a combination of these. I usually use, again, the security, not security offices, the security status and sometimes the activity to find my dead end systems or plan routes if I want to manually plan a route through and find some things so there you go just a quick and dirty overview of the map there's lots more you can actually do like you can have markers so if we zoom in on Juns zoom in until we get the solar system and you can see here we get here asteroid belts and moons and everything you can actually detect things like uh, you know I don't care about asteroids I can untick that asteroids go away uh, beacons, citadels, scanner probes, everything can show up on here. Um, so you can filter that down so you can get just the information you want. What else can we do? Let's see. 
focus on my current. And then some layouts. So no groupings. So this is just the map. Now if I click on it and I group stars by constellation, you can see now instead of seeing every star, we see the constellations. And then when you click on it, so ours is expanded. If we click on this star, it expands it into the constellation. So it gives you a little bit easier to navigate to areas. Or you can group it by region, which gives you even more. So if you you can see there's all the regions. And then if we click on catch, it expands catch for us. And you can see there's the jump to Providence, there's the jump to or Canid, Curse. So that's a cool way too if you want to simplify it. Uh, because I basically do a lot more in this, route, this view, because I do a lot more local stuff. Uh, what else can you do? That's it. So you can do the sections region lines. So there we go. We can see all the different regions now and how they go through. And then it stops when you leave the region, which is kind of cool. So it gives you the whole region when you click on it that way. Uh, sections lines only, which is just where we've decided. And all lines, which you can see here. So this one, you can see where it all connects. Pretty cool. So yeah. And then you got your abstract layout, which is like this. It's flat, kind of flat, so you can easily use it. But if we turn that off, it makes it more three-dimensional. So you can see now how the regions actually go. It's not that big of a difference, but it does make a difference. It gives it some more topography. Uh, sometimes you'll have systems, depending on your angle, will now hide behind other ones. You know, like we can hide stain behind impasse here, just like that. Uh, less. So cool. I like it on the abstract just to keep it just a little flatter. It makes it easier for me to see what's going on. I'm going to use it like this, like a map. And yeah, so play around with that. Lots of fun stuff you can do. And there we go. So that's a quick, brief overview on the map and just some of the things you can do with it. There's lots of little toggles. But I hope you enjoyed that quick look. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate that so I can monetize it and keep this baby going. I do appreciate all those that have already supported me with comments and other things. You know who you are, so thank you very much. And as always, take care of each other, fly safe, and I'm out of here.